Hi, we're Mike and Nicole from Our Life with Kids. And you're watching TDC Moncton. Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hello. We've just came back to see a sci-fi flick that uh, actually blew away the expectations that we were hoping to be deceived by. Of course, my expectations at your skyline were very, very, very low. <laughs> True, but this one, at the very least, they decided to put a little bit more spark into it, and uh, a little bit more spunk, and a, little, a lot better dialogue writing. Well, they actually wrote dialogue. I don't believe. I think Skyline. They would just say the Skyline. Like I just pictured the director between takes going, just say whatever comes into your head. Don't. I don't believe in scripts. Scripts go paper. See, see, see. That's good enough. Either that or they decided to do the old improv trick. Put the lines in the hat and pick them out and make sure you say them at the proper time. Oh no, a dog. My feet are cold. Oh, help. I, ha I have a cramp. Alien I have a the cramp. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's like who? What's, is this from our script? No. Oh, Anyways, Skyline compared to this is, is what slime is to the uh, evolutionary ladder of life. <laughs> Skyline, by any definition, is slime. It's poop. It's poop? It's shit out of my colon. Okay, we've just lost our PG rating. Um, Anyways, we've just come to see Battle for LA and... It, Battle Los Angeles. Yeah, is it Battle Los Angeles? Battle Los Angeles. With Aaron Eckhart. Also had Neyo as part of the cast and crew, which I think he didn't die in the movie, which is a good thing because he's not that bad of a singer. Um, but uh, overall, I I can't say very bad things about it. I can tell you that we won't give it two thumbs, but we'll definitely give it at least one thumb each, which means it's worth the shot it's, to it's see. It's worth watching. Theater. Just don't stop to think about all the plot holes in the film, or you're going to fall through and hurt yourself. Yeah. Because I'm always amazed how super advanced, intelligent alien creatures that are bred and engineered for combat uh, suddenly, when only the heroes of the movie are left alive, everyone else is dead, forget how to shoot straight. But, like uh, we say in French, c'est arrangé avec les gars des vues, which means <laughs> it's written by the people who did the movie. And such as it dictated, where they're like gods. <laughs> But anyways, um... I am a god! You're alien, you die! Marine, step on his corpse! <laughs> oh. You can tell that he'd be somebody... You don't want him as your god. Anyways, uh, it, it's, it's worth seeing in the theaters, but... Uh, Once is truth, enough. Truth be told, I won't be seeing a second time, and if I had the option, it would be a definitely a super good rental. So save your money. Wait until it actually comes out on yeah, DVD. Yeah, this would be fun with friends on a, ne a slow evening with beer. A slow evening with beer? Well, yeah, and you think you got nothing better, nothing better to do. This sounds like Monty Python weekend for some odd reason. But anyways, that was both me and him giving a review of Battle Los Angeles. And, well, if you've seen it, my condolences. If you liked it, congrats. If you didn't like it, well, so be it. If you want to see it, our recommendation is save your money, wait until it comes out on Yeah, if you do go, if you do go see it, just check your brain cells at the door. Yeah. You'll have more fun that way. Exactly. So, folks, from me and Mitch, have a nice one.